day and today I will be making this is my third channel episode 41 and today I'm gonna say what I learned in my science place in summary that I learned in my science place okay my goals in this place is one to learn about warm-blooded animals vertebrates and men first one is characteristics of birds warm-blooded Feathers, wings, bills, or beaks, light bones, eggs, and to learn characteristics of mammals, intelligence, memory glands, hair or fur, types, and to learn types of mammals, flying mammals, rodents, carnivores, meat eaters, merry mammals, porpoises, dolphins, and whales, hooved mammals, primate, ape, and monkey, and to learn to be loyal. David and Jonathan were loyal friends who none could ever divide they fought together the enemy for they were on god's side to learn and then i need to learn to stay by someone when they need me in times of trouble to be loyal this verse in this place is greater love has no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends john fifteen thirteen. yeah and let's go to our first topic is what I learned in the first topic is warm-blooded vertebrates and men. Warm-blooded. The young birds and Toby and Toby, the cat, are members of the two com most complex of the major groups of vertebrates. These two complex groups are mammals, birds and mammals. Birds are the simplest warm-blooded animals. Birds are called warm-blooded. The first characteristics of birds because they maintain a fairly constant body temperature. Temperature changes at, of the environment do not affect their body temperature. This ability to maintain a certain body temperature enables birds to live in variety of environment. They are not forced to hibernate during winter when temperatures drop. Um, you may have heard the expression as proud as a peacock. Why do you suppose people call the peacock proud? The peacock is a male bird that has beautiful tail feathers. When he, is, when he spreads them out, they resemble a large fan. The peacock then walks around appearing to be very proud of his colorful tail feathers. The peacock's tail feathers are about five times as long as his body. Each feather has mark on the tip that resembles an eye. The changing blue, green, and green, gold, and purple colors of the peacock's feathers have made this bird a valuable possession in this past particular during the reign of King Solomon, 1 King 10.22b states that once in year, once in three years, came the navy of Tarshish bringing gold and silver and peacocks. Feathers are the second and chief and chief characteristics of birds. Different types of feathers serve different purposes. When most birds hatch, they are covered with very soft feathers called down. Down feathers are usually lost as the bird grows. The young bird's new feather forming underneath the skin push the down feathers out. You may have seen a young bird that had no head, no, not lost all of its down feathers. Some adult birds have down then that acts as an insulation helping to maintain their body heat people use the down from all the geese as padding and an insulation in cloaks and coats some feathers give certain birds the appearance of appearance of unusual structures such as ear colors and crests Many feathers, however, are long and firm, which make them useful for flight. Yes, thank you.